Hello, everybody. All right, today we are going to start um, our new listening and learning, which is all about the weather. So this is all about, we're in a new domain. It's domain eight, it's called seasons and weather. So we're gonna be learning all about the seasons and the weather. So first of all, we do this every morning. We look outside and we know what the weather looks like. So what season are we in right now? Who knows? We are in winter. So the seasons are spring, summer, fall, and winter. And right now we're in the winter month. Also the days of the week, we know our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We sing that every morning. The same thing with our months. We sing these every morning. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And we're in the month of March right now. Okay, so I would like you to put your ears on and we're going to listen to a story. So dear kindergartners, hello, my name is Annie and I live in a big city called Washington, DC. I'm in the fifth grade, but I remember when I was in kindergarten, just like you. Right now in school, my class is learning about seasons and weather. For my school project, I'm going to be your weather pen pal. I'm going to teach you what the weather is like and where I live. I also tell you about the weather in different areas or places on earth. You can help me with my project by answering all my questions so I can learn about what the seasons of weather are like where you live. There are many different kinds of weather. There is sunny weather, cloudy weather, windy weather, rainy weather, and stormy weather. What is the weather like outside where you live today? My teacher says that no matter where you live on earth, the weather is always changing, hour by hour and day by day. But even though the weather changes, there is still weather patterns during certain times of the year. For example, the weather pattern in the summer is mostly sunny and warm. Weather patterns may change a lot in some spaces, places, and very little in other places. It all depends on where you are on Earth. There's the world, there's our Earth. This is a map of the Earth. I've colored two areas on the map blue. One is the North Pole and one is the South Pole. Even though the North and the South Poles are on opposite ends of the Earth from each other, they share the same weather patterns. The weather pattern at the North and South Poles is always cold and the land is usually covered by ice. This is the South Pole, which is located on the continent of Antarctica. It is one of the coldest places on Earth. The ground is covered by ice all year long, though it almost never rains or snows here. The wind can be so strong and the temperature can be freezing cold. I've colored the middle area of this map red. The weather pattern in this area is usually very warm all year long. The biggest change in the weather during different times of the year is the amount of rain. During certain months in the rainforest, the day may start off warm and sunny, but by the afternoon it might be raining very, very hard. This weather pattern may occur almost every day. This area gets lots of rain and sun almost year round. The rain and sun keep the plants and trees green and healthy. Do you see the part of the map that's colored green? Way up here. This is most of the United States, the country where we live. Most of the United States is on the continent of North America. Although the state of Hawaii is made up of islands located in the Pacific Ocean. In most of the United States, it's not always cold, like in the North and South Poles. And it's not always hot, like in the middle section of the Earth. The weather in most of the United States changes with every season. So we get cold weather, and we get hot weather, and we get everything in between. 
There are four seasons in a year, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Each season has different, has different weather, so the weather in the United States changes depending on where you live and which season it is. Plants, trees, grass, and flowers change in different seasons. You will also see different kinds of animals for each season. This image shows the season called winter. Winter is the coldest season. In some places, snow and ice cover the ground during winter time. Other places that do not have snow and ice are still colder in the winter than in other seasons. Some animals, like bears, sleep during the winter season. Eventually, winter ends and spring begins. In spring, the sun shines a little longer and warmer each day, which melts the ice and the snow. In spring, new leaves appear on the trees, and new plants grow up from the warming earth, and flowers begin again, begin to bloom again. Many baby animals are born during the spring, too. After spring comes summer, and summer is the hottest season of the year in the United States. Summer is a season in which all the plants are at their greenest, full of leaves, flowers, and fruit. Birds and bugs and other animals are easy to spot in the summer. Finally, after the summer comes autumn. Autumn is also called fall. In most places in the United States, the leaves change colors and fall off certain types of trees in the autumn. The air outside gets cooler and the sun shines a little less each day. Autumn is when farmers harvest their fruits and vegetables, birds fly south, and everyone gets ready for winter. Let's say the seasons together. Winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Do you know what season it is right now where you live? How do you know? Each season has its own characteristics. For example, the characteristic of summer is hot weather, and the characteristic of winter is snow. The seasons are different depending on where you live. Not all places get snow in the winter, and not all places are steaming hot in the summer. But one thing's for sure, no matter where you live, the seasons always change in the same order year after year. When something happens over and over again in the same order, it's called a cycle. Every year, the cycle of seasons begins with winter, spring, summer, and autumn, and then back to winter. I'll be taking out, I'll be talking about my hometown, Washington, D.C., a lot in my letters, but the characteristics of four seasons where you live might be a little different. It will be fun to see if your weather is different than mine. I'll say goodbye for now, but I will write again soon. Until then, I hope you are enjoying beautiful weather where you live, your friend, Annie. So here is our map right here. So Annie lives in Washington, D.C., which is not that far from us. We basically have the same kind of, same kind of weather pattern as Washington, D.C. We get hot summers, beautiful springs, the cozy falls, and the really cold winters. So, what were the most interesting facts that you learned from the Read Aloud today? So, what you're going to do is on the next page of Seesaw, you are going to answer this question. Have a great day!